next presentation is from Stefan Penek, the director of Ainu Art Services in Paris. The title is 16 Years of Experience of Magnetic Mounts for Museums. Good morning, everyone. My name is Stefan Penek, and I'm the director of Ainu, a mount maker uh, company providing services for museum and exhibitions. I'm going to talk today about the uh, the use of um, magnet uh, and magnetic mounts for museum and the uh, 16 years experiences that we have in that field. First of all, I would like to thank uh, Gwen Spicer for uh, her amazing books. And uh, this is a, a, a reference for, for the use of magnet. Um, it's a source of uh, information, both theoretically and practical. And I really thank her for, for, for that work. I'm not going to um, to go too much into detail of things that uh, she already uh, explained uh, perfectly in the book. So uh, I will concentrate on uh, our experiences and, and practical uses. The, um, the first time that uh, I knew uh, uh, started to work with Magnet was for the Musée du Quai Branly, and that was in 2006. And it, it came up that uh, the um, w one of the issues was uh, the um, turnover of fragile textile collection and um, textile and feathers and uh, due to um, light and UV ex uh, exposition. So we had to uh, find a way to to have system that could be uh, easily um, um, removed and changed uh, to uh, every three months to uh, change textile in the in the showcases. Um, it was also the possibility of uh, rearranging object uh, within uh, within showcase and. Um, and, and finally, the, um, some, some of the showcase and some of the presentation were very tight and it was difficult to, uh, for, to, to have access of the back for drilling and, um, and fixation. All that came up with the, um, the proposal that we, that we made, uh, or several proposals that we made to the Musée du Quai in order to, um, to match with these um, uh, issues. And we propose to um, adapt the, um, the showcases or to change uh, the, the back and the uh, internal kit of the showcases and replace them by steel in order to use a magnet system. Uh, it, this was possible uh, because we were very early in the process and uh, in the project. Uh, we started to work on, on the project um, two or three years before the opening. And uh, the, 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 the showcase weren't manufactured yet. And uh, we, um, when we made the, the, the proposal um, and, and we made some prototype for, for, uh, for different system using magnet, and that was uh, validated by the, uh, both the uh, scientific um, team of the museum, the curator, uh, conservator, and the uh, exhibition designer, architect, and the showcase manufacturer, which was uh, uniform at that time. Uh, the, um, the, the need for the easy shift and rotation for textile was very important for the museum and uh, the, um, the, the system that we, uh, we came up with um, was very interesting to, to fulfill these uh, requirements. So since 2006, we've been using a uh, neodymium magnet. They're, they're probably the, uh, the strongest available on the market. Uh, and they, came, uh, they come with uh, different shapes and, um, and sizes, and, and that's practical. In the uh, presentation today, we're going to uh, look mostly as uh, the use of magnet as a fixation technique for 3D objects uh, in museums. We won't uh, go uh, um, in, 
into textile um, presentation or 2D um, object uh, in, in, in today. There are some, several conditions that need to be um, considered um, before going into uh, magnet uh, fixation. Uh, the first one is the, uh, the possibility of the adaptation of showcases, and that's uh, an, an obvious condition. Uh, they, uh, we, we need to have steel um, uh, as a construction for the showcases, uh, steel in the base, steel in the back panel, and um, these uh, steel sheet need to uh, have um, a sufficient thickness. We recommend usually a minimum of 1.5 or 2 millimeters thickness for uh, for the steel to to be um, to be able to to hold and the magnet with sufficient uh, strength. Um, there's another condition is the uh, flexibility of the exhibition design. Uh, one, one aspect is the, uh, and, and that will come uh, later on again, uh, um, one aspect is the distance between the object and the, the wall or the, the back of the showcases. Um, if the distance is too important, so if the showcase is too deep, um, the, the use of magnet will be uh, problematic. And of course, uh, or maybe primary, there's also the um, typology and characteristic of the, of the object to be presented in terms of weight, uh, sizes, and uh, not every object uh, can, uh, can, can be uh, attached with, uh, with magnet. Um, Especially if you uh, if you consider a very heavy uh, stone um, object and the uh, the size of the magnet will be so so big so and it won't it would be too visible not not very aesthetic. The neodyme magnet came uh, come in uh, in a wide typology of uh, shape and sizes. Uh, you have the uh, the simple disc one that has, uh, are at the bottom and come in different uh, diameter and thickness. You have a uh, disc with a uh, countersunk hole um, or disc with threaded shaft or threaded hole. You have the rubberized magnet and uh, of course you can have also custom made and we uh, we did for the Musée du Cabrandi uh, in 2006 some uh, some um, B, B pyramid cube um, magnet that came in uh, for eight and 11 uh, millimeters and uh, the shape allow uh, a, a very easy manipulation of the magnet um, because the neodyme magnet are so strong. So if you want to remove them with your finger, it's almost impossible from the support. So here you'll see uh, a, 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 a video of the of the some of, of part of the workshop uh, uh, of the mounting workshop, and uh, just to give you an idea of uh, the cabinet with uh, the, uh, the 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 storage of the magnet that that we have. So it's it's pretty rough, but uh, um, storage is very important for magnet. They get dusty. Uh, they attract the uh, I mean metallic dust. Uh, they uh, can be damaged by uh, by shock. They can break, and you have to store also all the insert that you are making. And different. they came with uh, different sizes, um, thickness. Um, so there's uh, if you if you start to go into a magnet system, uh, you. Uh, it's uh, it's another world, uh, and you need to store uh, every every part of it. We usually, uh, when we start uh, some project, we start with new shapes uh, for insert, by example, and we manufacture more um, than the necessary, and uh, we have to keep them for uh, further uses. Now come the <clears throat> the point of. Um, 
how to measure, uh, how to choose what to use in terms of magnets. Of course, you've got the supplier data and um, and uh, the data sheet. And uh, here, by example, uh, is the uh, is the data sheet for uh, rubberized magnet, uh, 31 millimeters diameter, six six, six millimeter thickness. And the um, the data sheet come up with uh, a pullout force of eight kilos, but uh, that depends on the uh, thickness of the metal uh, on the of the steel that you uh, you apply the magnet on, and um, so the, the the real importance uh, here of, of how to choose uh, how to measure is to do real size test. Uh, of your magnet. Um, these tests need to be done um, at the first stage, uh, uh, like for the prototypes, but also you need to test every object, uh, every um, um, mount that you're going to uh, to use to validate if the uh, if the object is not too heavy for that magnet, if the magnet is uh, the proper size or, or positions. The distance between the object and the wall and the magnet is a key factor. Um, it's a square. Uh, it's the square of the distance that uh, and, uh, that affect the the resistance of the magnet and um, and the distance uh, ab, uh, com is considering the um, uh, the cantilevered um, action. And, uh, and, and force. The surface treatment, both of your magnet and of your back panel or your base is also to be considered. Um, if the surface treatment is too thick and uh, you diminish the, uh, the strength of your magnet um, intensively. But there's um, um, there, there's technique to uh, how to use or to reinforce the, st uh, the strength of your magnet. The um, the insert um, is one technique that we uh, we use. Um, so we we uh, manufacture uh, uh, here in that case is stainless steel uh, inserts. And uh, you place the uh, the magnet uh, uh, the disc magnet inside. We usually uh, glue, and we, uh, for a long time, we use epoxy glue. But the uh, the, the neodyme magnet is covered. It's a it's a powder uh, compress, and it's covered by a nickel uh, plated um, um, layer. And that nickel is is not easily uh, it's not it's not very easy to glue. And the uh, epoxy has a tendency to uh, to detach, to uh, not to glue on the on the nickel. So now we um, more often we use uh, silic structural silicone glue that are a bit more flexible and much more um, adhesive to the um, to the magnet. <clears throat> Here uh, I was uh, talking about um, test and uh, different technique for to reinforce the uh, the strength of the of the magnet. Uh, you will have two uh, two video. One is the uh, um, um, a one magnet test, and um, and you will see it, so that you you. Uh, so, you apply a, a weight on it, whatever whatever weight. Here it's uh, 400 gram, uh, 440 gram, and you uh, just realize how, uh, the the way the distance affect the resistance of the of the magnet. So uh, it came up at uh, 18 centimeters roughly. So at um, at 12, it's it's, uh, it's the, the strength is good. In this second video, um, there's a, it's a, it's a mount with uh, the two two magnet and uh, they are the same the same size magnet than the, for the first one, and here you can apply two um, two kilos to two thousand gram and it's all the um, on on the wall. So. Um, 
one one plus one magnet is uh, f can be five times stronger than than just one. So that's one of the techniques that uh, you can use uh, to multiply the, uh, the the number of magnet and uh, and to connect them together. So you you make a, a non deformable uh, system. Um, we. Of course, we encountered uh, a problem by using a um, magnet. Uh, the first one is the fragility of the, the neodyme magnet. They, they break easily if you don't uh, man and handle them properly. Uh, the, the second problem is the uh, attraction of dust uh, and metallic dust that are present in the air. Uh, a lot in the in the workshop, of course, but uh, also in the uh, in in the urban environment, and that is um, well described in uh, Gwen Spicer um, a book. The, the, there's the uh, the sliding effect of uh, some of the surface treatment of the showcase, uh, like. Uh, uh, some pains um, are to be considered also, and um, uh, if the strength of the magnet is not uh, is not strong enough, uh, the, uh, the the magnet can slide a little bit on the vertical surface. We're going to um, to see now um, two case study. Um, one is the, the first one is the Anima Mundi Museum um, in the Vaticano in Rome, um, and the second one is the uh, recently opened Musée de la Bibliothèque Nationale de France. And on on these both um, example, we've been using uh, extensively um, magnet as a fixation of 3D mounts. Uh, in order to avoid uh, drilling and uh, other type of fixation. So the uh, Anima Mundi Museum at, uh, in the Vaticano um, uh, it was um, uh, it's still going on. Um, there, there, there's still to be uh, some part to be uh, to be open. It's an ethnography museum. The exhibition designer is Adrien Gardet, and we've been so far working on 1,300 objects. Um, roughly, but I uh, need to be um, counted probably more precisely, but roughly 80% of the mounts um, are fixed by, uh, by using magnet in that presentation. Here you can see um, uh, two, show, two huge showcases with the, all the objects. Um, place on pole, which are um, fixed by magnet on the steel floor. So that's the um, the, the on site, the first on site visit, and it was early enough uh, for us to propose to uh, equip all the flooring uh, with the steel in order to to use magnet uh, as a the fixation of the object. That was very interesting for the museum. Um, so because they wanted to uh, make some uh, change um, uh, every every so often to, to change the composition and the layout of their showcases. So the first step was to uh, we, we came back to the workshop and we uh, tried to um, to make some I mean, we made some prototype on, on the Roughly uh, 10, 10 objects. Um, we manufactured that uh, in the workshop, and we uh, we send the uh, the prototype and the, the picture for validation to the museum and to the exhibition designer. So once uh, it was agreed to uh, to walk in that direction, and uh, the uh, the showcase uh, manufacturer Gopion. Um, agreed on changing the the flooring to um, to steel um, painted. Uh, we started to work uh, directly on site, and that's the workshop uh, at the Vaticano with some object. Uh, we were working very closely with the conservation team on on every object in order to know their fragility, sensibility, and and so on. Um, 
these, these uh, so the, that's the, the beginning of the work uh, in, uh, in the Vaticano was the, the one of the first objects um, uh, was the, uh, the mount manufacturer on site. Um, so that's the test to the stability of the object on a, on a, on a steel base uh, on site. Um, you can see in the back of the um, you can see the back of the, the object the uh, adjustable bracket uh, so that they are easy to to place and install. Um, this is a Aboriginal pillar, and uh, we manufacture kind of a disc uh, which is which were. Uh, which is low uh, at the bottom, so we can place a magnet in, into it. And uh, this this kind of uh, pillar, the, the wood is very heavy, so uh, it was important to have a, a large surface of um, for for the for the magnet to be placed inside. Uh, these um, uh, these tests um, are done systematically. So every time um, a mount is finished, uh, the object is tested on the mount, and um, to check if the if the magnet is strong enough. This come uh, this test come before the um, surface treatment, the, the termination of the mount. Here, uh, there's the, the protection is placed already with the, a shrinkable uh, tube in order to avoid contact with the object. But uh, then it's removed and um, um, some fine grinding and painting are applied, and then uh, the uh, protection is placed again. Same uh, same year on that uh, total shell dish. Um, that's the test. Uh, in the workshop, so systematically, objects are tested uh, on their with their magnet in order to uh, make sure that the uh, the mount is properly uh, is stable and the magnet is strong enough to hold uh, the object. Um, that um, it's it's not uh, losing time to do all the tests because uh, when when it's uh, properly done, uh, it's, it goes then very uh, quickly for the installation. Uh, the, um, the, 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 the flexibility of the position of the object uh, by using magnet and not, not to have to drill in the floor uh, allow uh, uh, both the exhibition designer uh, and the curator and the director of the museum to uh, decide on site if of the last minute changes uh, without any consequences on the showcase uh, uh, itself. Um, here is the installation. So the, uh, the, the pole with the magnet is placed uh, uh, primary, and then the object uh, is uh, placed on the mount. On the, on the right, you can see the, uh, the exhibition the designer, Adrien Gardère, um, taking the position of some object before the, uh, before the installation. Uh, installation goes also for a small object. Uh, uh, the podium here are made, uh, is made of steel. Uh, which allow us to uh, to use the magnet for 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 the small object to placed on uh, placed on it. Um, it goes it goes um, very quickly to for the installation. The uh, the 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 eight uh, the eight of the object is still adjustable, um, and the uh, the mount come inside the insert and is uh, fixed with a needle screw. <coughs> So, so that's a showcase after installation. The label is still uh, are still outside the uh, the showcase, but the object are placed. Um, and in in few hours, um, if needed, you can change completely the the layout and the position of object. Um, this is also another view of the uh, install object inside the uh, showcases. And uh, this one also that we saw at the, at the beginning, and the opening by the the Pope um, on site. The um, second example uh, that we uh, 
going to um, talk about today uh, is the uh, Musée de la Bibliothèque Nationale de France uh, that has been open uh, since uh, September. Is the ex cabinet des médailles and the collection is just uh, um, astonished. Um, it's an Italian exhibition uh, designer studio, and we've been dealing with 900 objects. And roughly, um, not very sure about the number, but uh, it's roughly 50% of the object uh, are uh, fixed uh, using magnets. So here uh, you can see a kind of uh, mixed uh, object uh, showcases and, uh, and uh, you have objects that are just uh, standing. And uh, here in red, the, uh, the objects that are um, fixed with, um, with magnet um, uh, insert um, holding the mounts. Same thing uh, in, in that showcase. Uh, and uh, here you've got uh, some object on the top that are placed on glass shelf and the mounts are uh, connected to a freestanding base. Uh, but the object at the bottom are placed directly on the, on the steel um, base and, and the fixation is uh, magnet. Uh, it was a long walk uh, for the um, Bibliothèque Nationale de France, and uh, the first the first step was to uh, here also to uh, to to make a study of the different typology of mounts, and to uh, to make the proposal of um, of the of some change in the showcases in order to use a uh, magnet for uh, easy, easy shifting of object and, uh, and change of uh, showcases. Um, so, so it was, a, it's, it's quite a long uh, study, but uh, here are some pages about the, um, the, um, the, the presentation that we've done for the, um, the use of the magnet with the different uh, size and shapes. Um, the way uh, we did some prototype to show that uh, they are uh, strong enough to hold um, some dishes and, and heavy object. Or uh, for some very small object like coins and medals, the way we uh, propose to have them uh, placed on uh, table um, showcases. The uh, installation uh, here is the Trésor de Bertouville, which is a Roman um, uh, uh, collection of uh, silver, amazing silver uh, dishes and objects. Um, so, so we, uh, according to the uh, to the mockup, we uh, the the good thing is that without drilling, uh, you can place and uh, and uh, make some last minute change to make sure that uh, everything is in the proper position uh, on site and that's the view of the showcase after um, after the, uh, the installation so here all the shelves uh, are made of uh, steel and, and they are epoxy paint um, one funny uh, things uh, so, I mean, funny because for the for the today presentation uh, of the conference, which is at the Getty, uh, the 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 treasure of the Bertouville was presented uh, at the Getty uh, a few years ago, and um, um, most of these objects were mounted by the Getty mount maker team, and uh, we uh, decided with the uh, curator. Uh, of the Bibliothèque Nationale to reuse uh, most of the uh, of these mounts, uh, and we adapt them to place the uh, magnet uh, with the road that you can see on the on the picture. Uh, some other showcases uh, presented some some mixed object, uh, and the um, we propose to use some panel for for the jewelry, uh, which came with uh, a lot of small uh, pieces and they are um, needle or, or, or nail to, uh, to, the, um, to, the, to these panels on the top. Uh, 
and this panel are um, um, fixed with a magnet on the on the back of the of the showcase. On the uh, for the other object that are a bit bigger, uh, the, uh, the the magnet is used also to um, to fix the object directly on the uh, on the back panel, and that's avoiding um, holes and uh, and allowing the reposition of object in the future. On some of the uh, uh, showcase here, you can see from the side. You uh, you don't see from the front uh, because the, the magnet is uh, hidden by by the object. But from the side, you can see the the type of um, magnet and insert that we've been using uh, in that showcases. In another gallery, um, they um, uh, manufacture designs um, cabinet made of steel. Uh, I mean we make them change to be to be in steel to allow us to use um, magnet for the for the fixation of the of the mount for all these um, ceramics greek ceramics uh, here's a good example of the it's a uh, quite heavy object it's a bronze head roman bronze head uh, the uh, the weight is um, Pretty much in, a, in the in the front of the head, and at the beginning, the uh, the 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 way the pedestal made of steel was manufactured was uh, using um, um, a sheet of metal which were too thin, and the uh, the strength of the magnet was not strong enough. So we uh, asked the um, showcase manufacturer Gopion to uh, replace the the pedestal with a thicker um, steel. And that all perfectly the um, the head. Uh, here in another showcase, uh, you can see also the uh, the magnet at the bottom of the um, of the dish. Um, in that showcase, uh, this is an historical showcase of the Bibliothèque Nationale, and they have been uh, re um, reshape. Uh, the the top uh, shelf is made of glass, and the mounts are. Um, with freestanding based, and uh, the two, the, the middle um, shelf and the bottom shelf are made of uh, steel, and uh, that allow us to use um, magnets again. Uh, that's the uh, the gallery for the um, coins and medals. Uh, there are table um, showcases. Uh, and the coins and medal are presented on a, on a slope of um, steel. Um, and we've been designing and using um, some, uh, some uh, small mounts that are uh, fixed with uh, a small magnet in the center. Here you can see the, the mounts uh, without the, uh, the medal on the top right. And um, and just for you to uh, to understand the way we work uh, on this on this uh, project, I mean we um, we prepare our, our database and everything is registered in it. You get access to uh, on your iPad on site to the um, exhibition design um, drawings, um, and you record on your on your file the. Uh, the name of the mount maker, the, uh, the the type of material that you that you use, um, and if you and you can follow the process of your mounting, especially if you if it goes to painting or other things. Um, still in the same uh, gallery, uh, here's some 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 metal, and you can place them with a drilling, which is. Uh, very practical, and here from the side, if you when when the showcase is open, you can see the side, and you can see the uh, the magnet at the at the bottom of each medal. Still um, at the Bibliothèque Nationale, another showcase with uh, mixed different typology of object, uh, and here it's. Um, a, a, I placed this um, that photo for the manuscript and the um, and the book mount. And this um, uh, specificity in the Bibliothèque Nationale is that they've got their own uh, workshop 
for um, for making a, a book mount, and they use uh, mostly uh, plexiglass for for years. And uh, we came up with a system to uh, for the for the feet for the for these uh, plexiglass mounts that can be uh, reusable and adaptable. So um, we provided uh, the the first plexiglass uh, book mounts, but they uh, will continue to manufacture according to their uh, to the shift of object inside the uh, the showcases because they change. The presentation of the manuscript every uh, every two months, every three months, and they uh, we we delivered um, uh, enough um, feet which are placed with uh, and fixed with magnet, uh, as you can see here, uh, so they they can adapt and uh, reuse the feet for their for, um, or the presentation. Here also you can see the uh, the book stand and the uh, the feet which are mag with magnets uh, sticking on the on the floor of the showcase. In that sh showcase with two frame, um, uh, here also we try to avoid having a hole in the uh, in the showcase in the back of the showcase. So we we've been using and uh, I'll show you on a small um, video here. Um, some bracket that we design, and uh, each of the bracket uh, they are reusable on on different frame because the frame are the same thickness. Each of them have uh, two uh, two magnet uh, who came up, and the uh, the top bracket are on a sliding system, so you can uh, remove the uh, the frame for um, before removing the mount. Um, finally, uh, the same uh, we um, I said I was not talking about two D object, but uh, just for the Bibliothèque Nationale, we uh, also adapt some uh, some hanging system uh, with magnet for the uh, for the larger um, frame. And, and, and original uh, drawings that they uh, that they have, um, and that was very practical because for the same thing they're going to change them very uh, very often and uh, without without hole uh, it's easy for them to uh, place and change the uh, the object. Um, so that's the uh, the end of the presentation. I just wanted to uh, insist again of the uh, the the different. Uh, Interest of using magnet uh, in a permanent uh, museum. Uh, one is the, uh, the, uh, the the easy installation of the object on site, and that's to be considered because the, very often the uh, schedule for installation are shorter and shorter. Um, there is also um, an, a very big interest in shifting object rotation of object for fragile collection and and that's uh, a consideration that is more and more important for for museum and using magnet allow you to to change uh, every so often and very quickly your your object and size showcases uh, the the last and uh, and probably one of the most interesting part for um, museum teams is that they 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 keep the flexibility of their showcase for uh, for a long time and uh, very often the uh, exhibition designer they they think their uh, the, the museum as uh, something will stay there for a um, few years but um, a museum they they I mean museum staff they know that uh, the uh, is going to to last for 20, 50 years before uh, before having new showcases. Uh, so to be able to change your collection inside showcases uh, easily without dismantling uh, these huge showcases or without changing the uh, the back panel because they 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 hole in it. Uh, it's a uh, it's a very big advantage, and um, so I I will push in the direction of uh, using magnet system um, for, for these reasons. Uh, 
so I thank you very much for um, for your time and um, see you see you soon. <laughs> bye bye. Thank you, Stefan. I think he is joining us virtually today. Wonderful. Thank you, Stefan. And thank you for featuring the Berteville silver mounts. Yes, we're very familiar with those mounts. It's nice to see that they have a future as well. Yeah, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. On smaller mounts like the coin mounts, are your mount posts threaded directly into the magnets? Uh, yeah, we develop a laser cut uh, pre-mount system with different sizes ac according to, uh, uh, to the sizes of the metal and coins. And the magnet is fixed uh, by, by using a shrinkable uh, tube, PET. Uh, so it's just the tube shrink on the, on the mount that uh, allowed the, the fixation of the, of the magnet on the, on the small mount. So there's no glue and no uh, screw and nothing, just a shrinkable tube. Hello, thank you so much, that was fascinating. Um, do you have any experience with electromagnets? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, we, we thought about that for a while, uh, spe uh, specifically on, on, on the bigger object. The problem is to, is to make sure that there's no uh, uh, that the electrical system uh, won't <laughs> won't shut down, otherwise uh, everything for for. But uh, yeah, we uh, we we thought about that at the beginning, but uh, we we never came uh, into uh, in that direction. How do you position objects with the magnets and not scratch the surface when you're moving it around? Uh, different, uh, different possibility. We use interface, uh, that could be miler, uh, or, uh, even, uh, a textile or a Sweden textile, for example. And, uh, and then at the last moment we, uh, I mean, we place and then we, you, you, uh, bend the, the mount and, uh, remove the magnet and release the, uh, the interface. In some situation, uh, you can cover the magnet with, uh, with a, uh, a, a soft textile, but uh, you, may, you need to make sure that it's thin enough not to uh, affect too much the strength of the magnet. But it's, uh, it's a good question because manipulation can, uh, especially uh, if the, the paint of the showcase is, is fragile or can be easily marked uh, the manipulation of the uh, of the magnet on it. It's uh, it's an issue. Yeah. Um, for the larger objects, uh, we saw uh, which are mostly deck mounted. Uh, the probably you'll have to use very strong magnet with this. And I just wanted to know what kind of magnet did you use? I know it's no dynamium, but which which pull force it has. And uh, also, did you take any precaution during install while, uh, while handling these kind of magnets? I mean, one, one of the precautions is not to put your finger in, in between two magnets. Because they, <laughs> they, uh, it's, it's, it's sometimes very painful. Um, yeah, I mean, we're still using kind of regular sizes. I mean, we're not in, in, uh, in very big sizes. Uh, so like um, 60, I mean, 60 millimeters, 80 millimeters diameter for the uh, for, for some of the big objects that you saw. Um, obviously, in the vertical position, it makes more, uh, it's easily, and you, you don't need the same strength than uh, having the, uh, the magnet uh, on the wall, by example. But uh, if, you, if you do it on the wall, um, by using a double, uh, by, by, uh, I mean, by using um, several magnets at, uh, on, in your mount, you, you, you add uh, turbo strength to your system. And uh, especially, I mean, when they are vertical, one, one on top of the other. 
if the horizontal the uh, the, the strength is that is that good, uh, but vertically it's, it works very well. So uh, so uh, so far uh, we've been using um, for some for some of the big objects at the Vatican, uh, some pool strengths of uh, 150, 180 kilos, uh, kind of magnet size. Um, for the casework that um, you use, you know, I see that you use a lot of steel. Um, do you usually spec that out, um, or was it you know, already spec'd out by the designer? Uh, and two, how about the cost difference in making those casework? Um, you know, steel is definitely much more expensive. Um, uh, more expensive, depending more expensive than, than what? I mean, like, uh, it's not much more expensive than aluminum when you use it as a back panel. Um, so, so yes, it's more expensive than MDF or wood, uh, but uh, they, they, uh, there's a tendency of avoiding all these materials now in, in showcases. So uh, we very often can come up with uh, design with uh, aluminum panel or, or, or forex panel or this kind of thing. So, so the, uh, the, the difference uh, in the cost is not that uh, important. And I would say maybe you, you, you can have a factor of 10, 20% increase uh, regarding your showcase. But if you, if you uh, consider the, um, the, the time that you're not going to spend in drilling uh, for the installation, it, it was while uh, using uh, steel as back panel. The, uh, the first part of the question, uh, I don't remember what, you, what was it, but uh, uh, if you want to, to ask me again. No, okay. <laughs> Sorry? Do we have any other questions? We have, we have uh, several. We <laughs> go ahead and go with the virtual first. Okay, we have a couple of virtual questions. Um, um, have you... Um, uh, experienced or thought about any risk of the magnets shifting or rotating in an earthquake or any other kind of building rotation or building uh, vibration <laughs> like that? Uh, the uh, um, I mean, if if you are at, at the, the the kind of uh, the limit of the uh, of the stability of your magnet of the, the strength of your magnet, uh, of course the. Um, Vibration may uh, may, may uh, affect the, the the system, and and you can have the magnet to fall down. Uh, but you shouldn't be at that limit. Uh, you have to take precaution and and uh, and and be strong enough. So if you if you're strong enough, the, I won't be affected by uh, by earthquake uh, in any case. Um, so. so it's just a matter of how strong your your magnet is compared to uh, the movement. So so you have to test, and it's it's uh, you, have, you have to test before the installation. Excellent, thank you. And um, there's another question about um, so once you've committed to steel cases, and you mentioned that sometimes there may be uh, painting surfaces or something that are more slippery or, or like that, and you find yourself at the case, and over time, maybe the shear strength things slide or rotate. Are there do you have strategies for adapting then, or to for mechanically attaching, if the magnet does start to fail, if that system doesn't work in that situation? Yeah, but that, that's a general, uh, I mean, uh, consideration that you have to 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 think, and it's it's not uh, if you if you think that uh, in one case the magnet is not. Uh, the, the good system to uh, to hold uh, the, the mount uh, you just have to use another one another system uh, could be mechanical I mean whatever uh, you have in in, in, your, in store <laughs> but uh, so so uh, I think it's just one system it's it's not uh, something that can be used blindly and uh, you have to be aware of their limit and um, and the different possibility that you 
you can find to to do the to do the job. We have two questions in the house. Let's start in the back. Uh, would you say it was costly to start working with these magnets, especially the larger ones? Because I'm not sure about prices, especially the stronger ones. Uh, it's, um, I didn't get the question. Is it a question about the price of the magnet? Yeah, would you say, would you say it was costly to, to make this step towards working with uh, magnets? Yeah, I mean, I mean that you you uh, you need to invest <laughs> a little bit in in, uh, in the different system. So uh, because you need to have them in advance, you know, in quantities, and uh, so it's it's costly because you uh, it's like uh, um, having new tools uh, or switching from uh, um, uh, brass uh, welding to uh, T welding. <laughs> So it's new tools that you have to invest into it. So what, what I meant was to, uh, it's, it's uh, uh, don't, don't be amateur uh, in, by using magnet. I mean, you, you have to embrace the, the, the thing and make sure that you have a thing in, in stock, uh, in quantities, uh, being able to change from one size to the other and, uh, and, and make sure that you can do the inserts yourself and, uh, and all these kind of uh, considerations. All right, and one last question from the front. Are there objects that you would not use magnets around, like uh, early metals or burial objects or things that you're concerned about magnetizing? Mm. Yeah, it's a good question. Uh, I think the uh, it should, I mean, we should look into the way a magnet can affect the, the object itself. Uh, so we're talking about uh, mostly uh, uh, magnetized uh, or materials, and uh, and it's I mean to magnet to change the, the magnetized uh, I mean to, to change a metal or iron metal uh, with the magnet next to it. Uh, it's something that shouldn't happen very uh, very easily so so but it's a, I mean, yeah it's a good question uh, I'm, I'm thinking about uh, meteorite by example or uh, but the, uh, the the fact is uh, regarding magnet I mean if you if you uh, the distance that you have between your magnet and your your object uh, even if I um, as I mentioned in the in the presentation that you uh, you, you try to reduce the distance uh, in order to strengthen the magnet, but uh, even a small distance, uh, I mean, a few centimeters, and you don't you don't have the the, the magnet field um, affecting anything. Uh, there's also the question of the uh, the people with uh, pacemaker uh, that can be affected by by magnet, but the same thing. I mean, they they uh, they. Of course, they shouldn't get the magnet in their in their pocket uh, or in their shirt. But uh, if they are at uh, twenty centimeters from a magnet, I mean, if the if the machine that they have is uh, a few centimeters from from the magnet, is it's, it's fine. So um, so don't, yeah. For the moment, uh, the the material itself, uh, I w I wouldn't say it's uh, it's an issue um, with the the. the the way we, we work on it. Thank you so much, Stefan, and thank you for joining us so late. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you all.